There's currently fighting going on around the Syrian capital of Damascus. But with many different reports of disconnected violence, it's often difficult to have a real good understanding of how that war is playing out on the ground. Well, it's something that we wanted to fix here at Truth Loader. So here's Adam with a roundup of all the miniature battles taking place around the Syrian capital over the past few days. Let's begin in Damascus. Videos are uploaded constantly from the Syrian capital and its suburbs, showing that the civil war isn't a million miles away from President Assad, but it's right on his doorstep. Babila is a suburb in the southwest of the city, and it's been the scene of intense battles. This fire is a result of an airstrike, which the activists who uploaded it say was a MiG bomber raid. The casings of the bombs dropped can be seen on the street as the fire engine works to put out a blaze in an apartment building. But while the aerial bombardment continues, rebel groups have also been fighting a battle on the ground. This gunfight was filmed to the east of Damascus and uploaded in a series of videos. The motorway in the background connects the city to the main airport. It's not entirely clear what they're firing at, but they've been trying to cut off the road and in doing so, shut down one of Assad's main supply routes. We haven't added the pixelation to the fighters, it's done by the uploaders to protect their identities. The airport is the city's main commercial hub and cutting it off would be a psychological blow to the regime. International flights have already been suspended and the rebels are pushing to block the route entirely. Next, we're going to Yalda, which is in the southern suburbs of Damascus, and this video captures the panic created by close proximity to an airstrike. It shows a group of men running away from a large explosion nearby before focusing in on a plume of smoke rising from the buildings in the foreground. It doesn't show the jet that dropped the bombs, but the engines can be heard throughout the video. Allahu Akbar. Yalda. Now we're going over to the west of the capital, close to Kadam. And this video shows multiple rockets being fired from the Al Metze airport. It's seen as a vital strategic base for the military and has been the scene of a sustained rebel assault in recent days. The next video is shot a little bit further away from the capital in Sakba, which is to the east of the city, where airstrikes have been reported Allah in the last few days. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. This plane swoops over the area before dropping its payload. The video then picks up on a large explosion in the distance while the jet engines continue overhead. <laughs> So the rebels seem to have formed a semicircle around the capital and are gradually encroaching on it from three sides. They're doing this because Damascus is vital for the government. First of all, it's the capital, so losing it would be a massive psychological blow. But it's also where Assad's most highly trained and loyal troops are situated and where there are the highest concentration of government troops. But while there is so much action happening in and around the capital, reports suggest that the rebels have little chance of overrunning it anytime soon. We've just learned of a mortar strike hitting a school just outside Damascus. It's killed 28 students and one teacher. Now the Syrian government have blamed the mortar strike on the rebels and as you might expect, the rebels have blamed the mortar strike on the government. Now this fighting is not just restricted to Damascus, it has also been going on in the northern parts of the country and we have put together a report on that, it's annotated on the screen right now. Do let us know your thoughts and comments as ever and if you haven't already subscribed you know where that button is, we'll see you again next time.